Wait a second, we're down for a minute. Make sure we use a lurking informant. Oh. Losing the stasis cell really hurts here. So we're going to have to play a little quicker. Go ahead and put that in the graveyard. Looks like they have more of the beatdown theme. Just a couple cards to really push the uh, mill. I'm not seeing any um, lurking informants, which are really good at locking the game out. Rest of our opponent's deck has. I don't think we're going to be in a great spot here. Okay, so we've got the induced paranoias. So I've got a good little mill strategy going there. Then we can go ahead and F6. Um, with the cards we have left in our library, we just can't win. Alright, so we're against a slower deck. Go ahead and bring in the sewer dregs here. We're gonna take the flow of ideas out. We're gonna bring the flyers in. Bring in the woe bringer as well. And the howler. Take out one peel. I still like the informants. The infiltrators are okay. We'll drop one Tidewater minion. our opponent down, so maybe the minions aren't that great. Alright, we need to drop three islands. Add three swamps, so that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, twelve. Perfect. Alright, and we have turned into a beatdown deck, and we are going to try to beat down our way to victory. 
keep them lurking informants because I still like to be able to manipulate my opponents uh, top of their deck. I would like to play first. And I would like to keep. Kind of an odd hand in that I'm not going to play a turn 2 Aqueduct. We're just going to remand whatever they play. We just want to have a lot of creatures that they have to answer. Um, it can be hard for the black blue deck to answer creatures, especially if they think we're going to go grindier instead of faster. Game three, we could flip back or not. It just depends on what we see from them. I think they might have a better grindier deck. Or just a better deck in general. Um, that said, with the amount of blue-black cards you're seeing going around, I don't think that there'll be another blue-black player. Um, I guess the only really premier blue-black spell that we got, other than the aqueducts, were was uh, ribbons. But ribbons is quite powerful. All right, so we're still waiting on our opponent to do something relevant here. And our opponent doesn't know we have the... Each player draws a card, then discards a card. We can play that next turn. Next turn we have uh, Carrion Howler, and if our opponent plays the Lore Broker again, they did. Oh, okay, they do have a land drop. Then we can start getting lands. All right, once the board gets a little bit bigger, we'll throw out the Wellbringer Demon. There's no reason to play it early. All right. So I attack. They could double block, which I'm fine with. Because if they double block, I can just pump this and kill both of their creatures. Which, sure. The fact that our opponent is playing things like Thought Picker Rich and Lore Broker is definitely an advantage for us. Paying one life doesn't really have a big cost here, even if they have a way to kill it. We basically just pay one life, which is not really a big deal. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and discard and swap. Alright, so next turn we'll play Clinging Darkness on something. Then the familiar, and then clean darkness again, probably, if we have something relevant to play it on.
play draws a card in this. Discards a card. Be interesting to see if they kill their own lower broker. They sacrificed it. Which I'm quite fine with. Creatures. If they block, we'll pump. If they don't block, we won't pump. Oh, we should have done declare blockers. And then we have them locked out of good spells. And it shouldn't everything go poorly, we can play Wolverine or Demon. Alright. Don't have a Wellbringer Demon, which is fine actually. Begin combat. Yeah. <coughs> Alright, we're going to attack with uh, our two main creatures here. Our opponent can go ahead and block and trade, which we're fine with, or they can opt not to trade, which we're also fine with. Okay, that's fine. Transfer of our own will help. Yeah, so playing the land didn't matter there because we weren't going to play ground convolute because we didn't have the fourth land. If I had the fourth land, I would have played my land and played around convolute. Alright, we'll hit for one. If we can get any more pressure on, we're actually ahead. have a swamp. So one of the reasons lurking informants, informants not a fun card to play against is that every time you put it on top, they basically know they're getting something irrelevant. So this is an opportunity for them to draw a relevant card. Uh, they haven't had a lot of turns to actually draw something because pretend they have a land on top, we're going to let them keep it. Alright, at this point I think I'd rather draw two cards. Since I just need something relevant. I need a little bit more pressure.
and we'll go ahead and play our Signet. We'll play Stasis Cell next turn because we want to keep using our Informant to keep our opponent from drawing anything relevant. And, and they will have us down to eight cards. Um, so we preferably need to draw another thing. No, you can have a Signet. There you go, your creature never untaps. We could have played that after they tapped it for whatever ability. So this doesn't play around. Um... Oh, I forgot the card. Bounces both cards back to our hand. We have one too. Trying to play quickly. Stasis now. Put this into the graveyard. Yes. Yes, let's put that into the graveyard. Clutch of the Undercity would have been a good draw. Um, yes, let's put that into the graveyard. But another Demon or Infiltrator or any kind of Flyer will also be solid. That's risky. Let's see. We hit them five more times. We draw five more cards. Yeah, let's not play that yet. because it puts us to five, that puts us to three. Yeah, that's not a good play right now. I don't mind them playing that to make us discard two cards. They could also draw two cards. Yeah, maybe we should have put that in the graveyard. Three next turn. Four, five. Okay. Broker. I 
Oh, that was a misplay by me. I shouldn't have f6. I could have moved that over. So I need a way to kill Lord Broker. I'm gonna lose by one turn. Oh no! Thought Picker Witch is exiling my cards. I miscounted. Well, there we go! I forgot that Thought Picker Witch exiles cards. And now I lose the game. But I do want to see what happens if I try to look at the top of my deck. Alright! Well, that's our first match of Ravnica. We'll play some more. Um, I do think that we weren't in a particularly great spot in the mirror, just having less of the effects. Uh, I do like how we had more early interaction, because early interaction is really key. All right, guys. Uh, looks like we got over the top today. Mobius pick. Uh, 